I think my, my biggest passion just to being a paramedic is just coming up to a patient, there's something wrong with them, and you can fix it. I chose paramedicine um, because I was an EMT for a while and I just wanted to learn more skills um, and just have more knowledge of the kind of the patients I was treating. I chose to come here because it was close to home. Uh, it's a community college, so I knew it would be affordable. And I had heard really good things about the program, so it was something that I knew I wanted to come here for. I chose this school just because I did a little research and they have one of the highest success rates in California as far as the um, passing rate for the National Registry. And I thought, hey, I can go to a program and I have a 100% guarantee that I'm going to pass a test. I don't care how hard it is, I don't care how difficult, I'm going to do it and I'm going to get out and I'm going to pass the National Registry and become a paramedic. Ever since the beginning, the teachers' expectations were really clear. We knew that we were going to be held to a high standard. So we're, we're taught that from the beginning, and they put us through rigorous scenarios, you know, daily with the mannequins and both with each other, just so we can get comfortable in those high-stress scenarios. What I try to tell students is this is a pretty serious job. Uh, EMS is one of those things that has really great days and really bad days and that they have to be emotionally prepared for that. It's pretty intense on occasion, and you've got to have that that command presence and that leadership ability. I love the instructors, they're my favorite part of the program. They're, they're really supportive and they really root for you to be successful. You know, they've got the real world experience, especially when you go around doing different things around the campus, going code three, they have us hopping around back there, you know, just like it'd be in the real world, so that definitely helps. What's our ETA to the hospital? Four minutes. In the classroom, we have these really cool sim mannequins, which basically they're computer programmed and they can do everything from having like a blue face, you can make them breathe faster, slower, or not breathe at all. So it's like working with a real patient. We can manipulate the mannequins based on what the student does, where before those mannequins were static. And then we'd have to kind of make believe that things were changing. Today, you'll have one of our instructors sit there with headgear on and an iPad device, and as the student says, I'm going to do X to this patient, we can actually replicate what would really happen to a human. And then that student has to assess that and integrate it into their treatment plan. And so it's, it's far better than 100 years ago when I was at school uh, and everything was static. You know, it definitely builds up the stress level and just kind of gets you going, it gets you uh, prepared for when you're actually out in the field and, you know, you don't have an instructor to turn to. Has she ever been intubated? What triggers the asthma? She said she only had it once before. I just completed my internship about a month ago and I got to do a lot. Um, I got to work with, uh, you know, STEMI heart patients. Um, I also got to um, run a code, which is a patient who's not breathing, and kind of orchestrate that whole scenario and really figure out what it's like to be a leader and run the whole call from start to finish. Private ambulance world is quite large in California and in surrounding states. So many of our new graduates will go into jobs in the private ambulance industry. Some of our students will be fortunate enough to be picked up by our public safety agencies. And these are city and county agencies like our police and fire. And some of our students will go to work for those organizations. In addition to that, some of our students will go on to become nurses and doctors and clearly work in hospital settings as well. If you're on the fence, you're not sure what you want to do, like I would suggest a ride along um, with one of the fire departments or private ambulances just to see what the career is like and to see if it's something that you could see yourself doing. If you want a job that you know is exciting and gets your adrenaline going, this is definitely one of the jobs. Tones go off and you don't know what you're going to get. Shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, syncopal episode. Every single accident is basically different. That's one of the most uh, appealing aspects of being a paramedic is you never really know what's going to happen. You want to come here because you're going to have teachers that are invested in your success. They get to know you personally because the classrooms are a lot smaller than maybe the private schools. Um, so they're going to be able to help you not only with being successful, but also giving you the tools to be successful. Come on in, take our EMT program, see if you like it. If like me, you got the bug and couldn't shake it, you're golden. Here we go. Let's have a good time.